Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Helping to educate, inform, and celebrate our region's manufacturing successes. Because great things are happening in all of our communities. At MedOcean Telematics, product innovation is serious. Their self-locating data marker buoy is used in search and rescue situations and disasters around the world. These data marking buoys are dropped into the water where the searched item or person went missing. The buoy drifts in the current, collecting essential data for the search and transmits it back through satellite communications. Potentially life-saving data, like the direction and speed of drift, the longitude and latitude, as well as water and air temperature. These life-saving buoys are made right here in the Maritimes. To make the arms of the data marking buoy, strong bungee cord is threaded through an aluminum rod. Using a tension jig, string is attached to one end and secured to a spring scale. The other end is secured with a clip. The engineer turns on the winch, which pulls the bungee and creates tension. In this case, 35 pounds of tension. The cord is clamped in place. Tape is wrapped around the cut line in the cord. It's cut and tied in a knot. A set of four arms is made for each buoy. To assemble the lower part of the buoy, the mast or main support rod is secured to a flange with a set of screws and tightened with Loctite. A snap ring is put in place. Working on a jig, the arms are pulled apart and snapped into place. A weight is attached to the bottom of the flange and four screws are tightened into place. Turning the unit upside down, assembly begins on the other end. This drog system is made of nylon material similar to a sail. Each of the four panels has a weighted corner and is attached to a polystyrene float. The floats help deploy the arms properly into position and keep the unit afloat once it's in the water. The angled floats are an important part of the deployment design. Using a central pocket, the grog assembly is slid onto the mast. A flange tops the assembly. It's secured with a set of screws. Then a snap ring is inserted. The forearms are then pulled apart and snapped in place. A compression spring is threaded into the top of the mast, then into the bottom. The two are secured with a mounting plate and screws. The nylon panels are draped over each arm and the arms are inserted into the top and bottom of each panel. Zip ties secure the fabric to each arm and the ends are trimmed. With this part of the assembly finished, the bottom arms are pulled out of position and bent up, tucking the panels and floats into place. They are temporarily secured with Velcro. Water-soluble tape is a big part of the data buoy design. It's measured out and added to secure the bottom arms. When deployed, the top arms will open first, and after a few minutes, the tape will dissolve and the bottom arms will open. The Velcro is removed. A zip tie is secured to the top arms. They're pulled out one at a time and bent down. Holding the arms together, the zip tie secures the arms temporarily. After straightening the rope, each float is held up to the mast and secured with a Velcro strap. Then, another strap is added. The panels are tucked inside the floats for a smooth external surface. The temporary zip tie inside is removed and the rest of the panels are carefully tucked in. Removing the unit from the jig, it's now ready for the electronics. The electronic housing of the data marker buoy contains a circuit board, a battery, a strobe light, sensors, and satellite communications equipment. When in use, this part of the buoy will be floating above the water and provide all the essential communication. The components inside the electronic housing are programmed on site. A modem is attached to the circuit board and the firmware is installed. The electronics are roughed in and sent for testing and burn-in. 
Burn-in is a term used to describe the process of initializing buoy communications with the Iridium satellite constellation orbiting the Earth. In both testing and deployment, as soon as the base hits water, it shorts out and turns on. By registering each individual unit with the Iridium satellite, the unit will begin communicating life-saving data in 10-minute intervals as soon as it's deployed in an emergency. After burn-in, the components in the housing are secured inside, then sealed. Reflective tape helps increase visibility of the unit in the water. A mounting plate is placed on top for securing the electronics housing to the lower mast assembly that was made earlier. A lot has to happen autonomously when these buoys hit the water and final preparations are being made to the lower mast assembly. A water-soluble film is rolled into shape and threaded through the top of the floats and then through the plate of the flange. The completed electronic housing is screwed in place. Loctite secures the seal. Wires are attached to the electronics mounting plate and a copper sleeve crimps the wires in place. String is held in place by water-soluble tape. Then the buoy is compressed into position. Strings are fed through the electronics mounting plate and temporarily taped in place. Water-soluble tape wraps around the housing. The temporary tape is removed and another layer of water-soluble tape is applied. Next, the ballast is installed under a temporary zip tie. A series of wire bindings are attached. The heavy ballast helps the buoy position itself correctly in the water. When the buoy is deployed, the water-soluble tape will dissolve. The bindings will release, and the buoy will be fully deployed. After a visual inspection and the identification number verified, the exit ballast is placed on the buoy, and the whole unit slides into the deployment tube. A parachute is folded, and the cap is placed in the tube. The parachute strings are clipped in place on two sides, and the cap is pressed in place. For shipping, the buoy is bagged and then vacuum sealed. A custom-designed shipping container, including deployment instructions, ensures these buoys arrive safely to destinations all over the world, ready to help save a life.